zoom in on this. My puppy is very special to me because she was a special birthday present from my mum and dad. Yes, yes, Master from Crew, back once again with another video. And sorry to be the bearer of bad news and again off topic, but I had to do a video today about my dog Lulu. Um, she passed away. Uh, she got really sick and uh, she, for those who don't know, not been following, um, she's got stage five cancer. And uh, I'm gonna be uploading a lot of uh, stuff about Lulu with a lot of the videos, because I've done a lot of footage and I really wasn't feeling like uploading it anywhere, or more or less, uh, wasn't even feeling like editing it, to be fair. Um, but I'm now gonna be uploading that on my Facebook page, so you can go there and check it out. And hopefully it will kind of help people who are going through the same sort of thing, you know, cancer or grief with a loved one. Um, she passed away, we had to have a put down last Friday um, and it, it was really hard for us to do. Um, we had to group up together, um, you know, all of the family and uh, go down to the vet and have a uh, euthanized or whatever you call it. Um, but we had to, you know, all be around her, we give her the best send off possible because she had the whole family around us and, you know, so for people who don't have pets, they'll probably laugh. And, say oh you know how can you be attached to a pet but like you know you don't understand until you've had your own dog man you don't realize that the dog becomes part of the family and uh you go through real grief man um, when your dog passes away and the dog was real close to my missus especially because he used to follow her around like a shadow and uh, you know she's so she's going for a hard time uh, the kids are going through a hard time you know shout to hannah paris and tash you know love you lots this video goes out to you um, and also we're having to put Lulu to rest um, you know we're going to be getting her a nice send-off we're getting having her cremated we're going to be getting her um, you know our ashes putting them in a lovely little urn and I just want to thank everybody out there for all your support who's been following what's been going on and, and, and all your comments as well because uh, it's much appreciated we do sit there we do read the comments and it does help and uh, you know I just want to say to anybody out there who's grieving uh, you got to take one day at a time. Uh, you know, we, we 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 were taking it one day at a time myself, and uh, you know, this since Friday, you know, it's now um, Wednesday. Uh, she passed away Friday, and it, it was really, really, really intense seeing her being put down, seeing her being put to sleep. Um, and you know, we we made a lovely little scrapbook for her, um, which we put together. Um, to you know with all of our best photos and all of our best memories I'll put together a little collage of videos um, at the end of this video uh, so you can see that you know Lulu was a real love dog and she was you know in memory of her and, and maybe um, in, an, in years to come when we've got the strength you know we'll be able to look back at this and um, remember Lulu Does she bark? Yeah So guys this is Lulu um, Today, we know, well from last night we noticed that she was breathing a little bit different and as you can see here now it's really unusual breathing uh, we don't know where she's at at the moment it's not looking great uh, and she just looks like she's struggling to breathe but her lungs sound like they've cleared up a bit from where he was uh, it's really mad because we don't know we don't know what to do you know we, we thought about cooking some bleeding cannabis oil but that's a long thing uh, it's just a shame that it what it's not available for us to try um, we've given, been given her the CBD um, you know, she's just she's just hanging in there. Yeah, so she's been having these little seizures, guys. Um, for those of you who don't know, she's got stage five cancer. Uh, Bet's recommended bring her in within the next week to put her to sleep. Um, she's off the steroids, so we're going to give her herbs a couple more days, maybe. Uh, if they don't start to work and her, her quality of life has not improved, man, then boy, we're going to have to do the right thing. And it lose you know look she's loving her walk still still over the field sunny day you know she's she was eating this morning that's a good sign 
but eating for a syringe and a very small syringe bit by piece oh Ooh, look out. she's actually going number two all right not that you want to see that but it's a uh, it's a good sign that she's going day or so Noodle. but even going number one number two for her now is a big deal like for her energy wise and all that it's like she can't go it's like she ain't got the energy to do it so guys uh, Lily's been having a lot of crazy seizures man so we have to do the right thing take her to the vet and uh, we're gonna have to let her go man you know we tried our best for her and uh, you know gotta let her go man it's gonna be hard everyone's at the vet to see her go Right, let me not get myself into a bit of a madness now. Come on. So guys, really just stressing time, you know, really sorry. Um, you know, it's been exciting. Now, she's going Everybody, you know my pet dog. She loves potatoes. A puppy! I feel puppy! I don't know, she keeps coughing up for my lungs. But it's like, yeah, it's, it's not good. It's she was, just the seizures that are freaking me out. She's had like, how many seizures today? Three. Yeah, um, this morning at yeah. five. And it's when she gets too relaxed in her sleep. Yeah, come. Do you want me to look her up? Come on, he's got his girl. That's it, he's got Because you see it and you think, boy, you know what? This is real, man. Let me just put her down, man. No. It's, it's not good. No, I think we're not going. Hush, little Lou, don't say a word. And it's gonna buy you a doggy toy. And if the doggy toy don't squeak, She makes all little funny noises sometimes. When she gets used to, she'll do all sorts of funny stuff. She likes biting toes. <laughs>